Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to electoralvotemap.com, we have a new updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, and sub for more election videos. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii, with 4 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, with six electoral votes, is gray, according to this website. It will not be colored in. Either candidate could win the state of Nevada. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, is gray, according to this website. Either candidate could win this state. It is highly competitive in Arizona. Alaska, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The 1st District of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump, with the tiniest district of Nebraska blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Tampon Timothy. Wisconsinites with its 10 electoral votes is gray, according to this website. It's a toss-up. It will not be colored in because either candidate could win it. Michigan with 15 electoral votes is gray. According to this website, either candidate could win this during the election. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, with its 16 electoral votes, is a toss-up in gray, according to this website. It will not be colored in. Either candidate could win the state of Georgia. South Carolina, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, is gray and not colored in, because either candidate could win the state of North Carolina, according to this website. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Tampon Tim. Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes is gray, according to this website. It will not be colored in because either candidate could win the state of Pennsylvania. We have Maine, M-E, top right. The main part of Maine is red for Donald J. Trump with the first district of Maine being blue for Kamala Harris. <laughs> and M-E-A-L-2, according to this site, is blue for Kamala Harris. <laughs> New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the rest are all blue for Kamala Harris. Woohoo! Yeah, there we go. All right, fill it in all blue. So, according to this website, we have Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Georgia, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania are all toss-up or battleground states in the 2024 election. Either candidate could win these states. They've been flip-flopping back and forth according to the website that we cited at the beginning in the interactive 2024 election map. So, if you or you and people you know 
know people in these states or if you live in these battleground states and you want Kamala Harris to win, have you and your friends and family go and vote blue as soon as you can or on election day. Or if you and the people you know or friends you know live in these battleground states, have them vote for Donald J. Trump if you're a hardcore Republican or a MAGA Republican. Blue for Kamala, red for Donald J. Trump. You can influence the election and only you can. Words stir up the hearts of men, according to Thomas Paine, one of our founding fathers. I'm President Ross. And I'm back. And we are... Out. Woo!